What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here today. Australia, what a start they've gone and got off to. One for 50 of six overs in this third and final one day international in a three game series. Now this is a dead rubber, we have won the first two uh, as the New Zealanders and uh, we'll be looking to go obviously for the clean sweep. So it would be nice if we could go and do that against our trans Tasman foes. But we just want to go and I just really want to try and pick up some wickets because I feel like we have really been out of the wickets lately and just haven't, just haven't been our potent self and I'm not sure really what that comes down to but we just haven't been able to take wickets haven't been getting them at regular intervals so hopefully today is the day that we can go and pick up a three maybe a four even five wicket bag to go and get our confidence back but today we are going to be talking about the IPL and the uh I'm just trying to think the eliminator final that was on uh like Thursday morning, I guess you would say, uh, New Zealand time, which was played between the Sunrisers Hyderabad and the Kolkata Knight Riders. Obviously, this game is a knockout game. Whoever loses is gone. Um, and the winner got a chance to play the Lions in a second place, uh, sorry, a second chance eliminator, I should say, um, after the first and the second team playoff, which I think is quite a cool idea. Um, you know, for a, a semi final format, and they've actually gone and taken three here, Australia. Very nicely done. But I think it's quite a cool format how they do it. It obviously gives the teams, um, you know, it gives them something to play for, I guess, uh, finishing in the top two. It gives you a little bit more, not not of an opportunity, but it does give you that second chance. If you do lose the first game, you have a bad game, you're not completely done and dusted, which, you know, it is quite nice. It is nice to... I guess be recognised, shall we say, for finishing in the top two and having a good season rather than a team that just scrapes into fourth like Kolkata maybe did this year um, and, you know, have an opportunity to go and knock out the first place team just like that. So I like the format and the way that they do do it and it would be nice if, you know, other sporting leagues did go and adopt a similar uh, kind of finals format, which a lot of uh, competitions are doing now, especially teams with four uh, to possibly six uh, playoff style rounds at the end. But that is enough talk about that. Let us talk about the Eliminator Final. As I said, played between the Sunrisers, Hyderabad, and Kolkata Knight Riders. The Sunrisers batted first, 160 on the board. I don't think any of their big guns really did go on fire. And I think we do have Finchy here for an LBW. Moved across his stumps, and that has gone and hit him. Probably going on to hit, I would say. Uh, middle stump. So hopefully it isn't going to be in reviewed. It isn't reviewed and Finch has gone for 44. That is a big wicket. That is something that we needed early on in our innings. We needed that wicket. We've gone there and got it. So hopefully we can go and build on that from here. Um, anyway, back to that Sunrisers game. 160, yeah, 160 odd. I can't quite remember the exact uh, numbers to it. But, um, you know, still a fairly decent total. And Dave Warner, I read in an interview this morning, he's one of the guys kind of similar to me. When it comes to, I guess, pressure games, knockout games, semi-final games, final games, whatever you want to call them, whatever they are, it is nice to bat first and have runs on the board. And that is what the Sunrisers went and did now. He's a big believer in that, as am I. So um, it was good, obviously, to go out there and put a good total on the board. That strategy can backfire a little bit if you do go um, bat first and only manage to score, you know, not many. Um, it does go and make it very, very difficult to... I guess just come back from it, you know, if, if you're going out there in 160, probably is a par, poor, a par score, sorry, in the Indian Premier League. Um, but, you know, had they gone out and only scored about 120, 130, even 140, um, you were thinking that possibly they would be in a little bit of trouble because it is a below par score. And Kolkata have got plenty of match winners with the bat uh, in their side. But this was not the case. Kolkata did back second, and they did only manage 140 runs. I believe Moses and Reeks uh, came to the party with the ball. Now, Reeks is a guy who has just been recalled to the Australian Test Squad. I'm not sure if I spoke about that. Uh, in Wednesday's video or not, but has been recalled. And for me, it is quite strange that he has had such an extended run in the IPL side because from what I have seen from the Sunrisers games is that he really hasn't done a whole lot for the Sunrisers team. Obviously, an all-rounder. He's batted, I think, at three. Um, he's batted at four. He's batted at six. So he's batted all around uh, the middle order and, I guess, a little bit of the top order as well. And just hasn't, for me, really seemed to go and contribute too much with the bat. Saying that, though, Shikadawan 
and David Warner have been in very, very good form. So it has been hard, uh, I guess, to notice other performers besides them in this tournament so far. But he did get the job done with the ball last night, I believe, from three overs. He took two or three for 19, did get the Man of the Match award, and saw his Sunrisers, um, well, saw his team, the Sunrisers, I should say, through uh, to... Oh, why have they taken another power play? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me, Australia? But he's he's taken his side through uh, to the second chance final against uh, the Lions. So basically, the winner of that will play off against RCB in the grand final. I'm not 100 percent sure when that date is, um, but no doubt when it does come, we will talk about it sometime next week, which I imagine um, it'll be sometime over the weekend, quite possibly. But uh, it is. I mean, it is going to be a good game. And really looking forward. I mean, RCB were a team that I kind of was cheering for a little bit at the start of the season. Because um, they're one of those teams that always have the side on paper. They always have a good side on paper and just don't seem... They just can't seem to get it together and put it together on the pitch and on the field. Which is a real shame. But today... Uh, well, sorry, not today. This season, I should say. Uh, all, all the elements have kind of just clicked into place for them. And things are just working well. And that has ruined... Our pretty good over so far, Shane Watson, flicking that one there off his pads for a four. It does help as well that I did have a, a workmate that uh, has actually left uh, my place of work now and has gone back uh, to Bangalore. But he is from there, so that's pretty cool uh, to go and support there. And he's telling me about all these times, um, you know, just the kind of d different ticket prices that you can get over there, which is a little bit different to here uh, in New Zealand and Australia. But that's all. That is all we do have to talk about today. So really I'm hoping we can get some good gameplay here because we're done with the IPL. There's no other international cricket as such really happening. I know, uh, I think Sri Lanka and England may have started last night. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but they're, they're starting their second test very, very soon. Um, it will be interesting to see how Sri Lanka go in that game because obviously they did struggle a whole lot. Uh, to face, I guess, just swing and seam bowling with uh, James Anderson and Stuart Broad taking majority of the wickets. And I think it was an innings and an 83-run win uh, in the first test for England. So um, it will be interesting to see how they come back and combat that um, because that is, it's got to be a demoralizing loss uh, to lose by that margin. So this has been a pretty good over so far. Just the one off it. And it is surprising because, as I said, we haven't taken too many wickets lately um, in this career mode. But we have, I guess, kind of found our touch back a little bit when it comes to the economical side of our bowling. And that has been very, very good. I have been bowling, and this is just a little tip, I have been bowling a lot of slower balls lately. That is how I've got most of my wickets early on as well. Um, it does help that I am trying to get my slower ball rating up as well to increase the overall um, of my player. But the slow ball does seem to really work. We got it with that LBW where uh, Finch kind of just played around it a little bit, uh, moved across his stumps and just misread uh, the speed of the delivery. So if you do get it in the right area and you do have the right field set, like I think we do have at the moment, pace defense five um, is fairly good. It gives you quite a few options, uh, for quite a few catching options in the deep um, and does limit the runs inside the inner ring as well. So as long as you get it on the right line and length, um, probably the more, the more the what am I trying to say? More the right line than the right length. You will be in uh, for a fairly good time. Um, but as soon as you really go and you stray too much to the league side, you are just going to get picked off, like we have seen a couple of times this episode already. But just need to keep it going. And as I said, hopefully that other wicket is just around the corner. We have bowled um, quite a few overs at the start of the innings, which I don't really mind doing too much. Um, it would be nice if we could go and bowl at the death because that is where I believe if we did bowl there, most of our wickets potentially would come from because players are out there. They're obviously trying to score runs to get their team uh, back in the game. But we've done our job today. We have gone, uh, raised the required run rate. It is up over uh, six now. So hopefully we can go and keep this. I was going to say keep it to one, but they are going to get a two off the last ball of the over, which is a shame. No maidens here, but um, again, getting that slow ball skill up, which is what we are looking to go and do. So um, very similar situations as well. Australia were, well, Australia are, sorry, just two runs ahead, um, but we were one wicket less down. So 186 still needed from 29 overs. Um, so still a lot of time left to go. And that is, def that is definitely over six runs and over. It is definitely over six runs and over. So we just need to go and, 
and just keep just keep it going and this lack of speed the slobbles as I said if a batsman is in you know an example like this and you do keep it on the right line um, not so much the length I mean basically this game I have just gone for good length deliveries um, on majority of them if you can keep them on that right line you know best they are going to get is a single and a lot of times it is very very hard to try and time the ball uh, just to go and get it away so we, as I said, we've done our job here today. We got rid of Finch. He was looking dangerous at the top end of the innings. Um, and then we have gone and really just slowed things down, which is what we need to do. If we go for two or three in and over, I'm not really too fast because it is going to continue to go and raise that required run rate up. Now, remember, it is already over six runs per over. Um, so the more we can do, the better. And there's a prime example. As I said, if we do get it on the pads like we have done there, it is going to be very, very easy pickings, especially with the swing the way it is. It is moving in towards a batsman's pads rather than away from him so that's not a very good over at all they're going to get two here as well so it's going to go for eight see and that's not what we need we need to go and limit those boundary balls and it's just it's just one of those deliveries that does swing uh, a little bit more than the rest of them and it is easy pickings as i said on the pads so um i don't really know what else we can do wicket taking i must say since the patch has come out, and I mean the patch has been out for a long time now, but since the patch has come out on both PS3 and PS4, um, betting for me has become a lot more fun. Don't get me wrong. But bowling, because the betting has become a lot more fun and it's become a lot more compact, I guess you would say, it has made the bowling a hell of a lot harder. And taking wickets now um, is very, very hard. You remember, obviously, back... Um, you know, towards the start of my career modes and even the start of my career reborn, the series we're doing here today. It was very, very easy to go and pick up four, five, even six wicket bags. Now in most games, we do struggle to even get one or two. I mean, we've got one here today. But in the stage that we do really bowl in, like we bowl in the stage of the game, um, I guess you would term it as the middle overs. So we bowl in there and it is very difficult to go and pick up those wickets. So we just need to go and, you know, basically change our role a little bit from a wicket taker to a guy who is going to build pressure from his end and allow our guys at the other end to hopefully go and take those wickets if they can. So, um, see, that's what I'm talking about. It's just that one loose ball that's going to go for two. And, I mean, that's not too bad of an over, and we still do go for six because we had that loose ball that was on the pads that just gets flicked away with ease. So... I don't really know what else we can do, to be honest. I don't know how many overs we've bowled either. I think we've got two left to go, possibly. We're gonna, I'm going to try and bring in some Yorkers here. We've only got two overs left to go. Try and bring in some Yorkers, just to mix things up and hopefully try and sneak one uh, through the bat. Give the batsman a little bit of a false sense of security. You know, think that they're in control, and then we go put in a bit of an effort ball and just manage to go and sneak it through uh Underneath the bat or even through bat or pad would be ideal, but I just don't know. I just do not know. We need to get some more cricket going on in the world because basically after about five minutes today, I was just out of things to talk about because IPL, there's only one game going on. And I can't really talk about it too much because I haven't seen the game myself. I've just seen the scorecard. So it does make it hard, but that's all right. We will soldier on. We will soldier through. Continue to bang in these Yorkers. And just, uh, as I said, just try and, if we get a breakthrough here, which we may, I was going to say may get from a run at a hit, would have made it interesting. But um, I don't mind if they're having to go for those risky runs. If you're having to go for those risky runs, um, you know, off my bowling to go and change it around, then I'll let you have it. But there's another fine example. We do just get our line slightly wrong. I mean, that's not even that bad. It's probably on middle, and it's just been, well, middle and leg. And it's just been absolutely put away. And it just ruins our good over. Just absolutely ruins our good over. One for 42 so far. And uh, we do have just this last over here left to go. Australia are actually ahead at the same stage of the innings as us. So um, really do need a wicket. Maybe not from ourselves because we are just into our last over. But saying that, it is still about seven runs and over that is needed. So we must have had an absolute brilliant finish to the innings. I don't know why. Well, it wasn't me because I went out there for a slog and made a golden duck. Um, I thought I was recording it, but actually it did. Um, well, thankfully it didn't record because that would have just been embarrassing if we had that. But 
At this stage, we'll take the dot balls because it does mean that the required run rate is going to jump up above seven, which is what we want for the team. And as I said, it would be nice if we could go and clean sweep this Australian side in this one-day series. Going to take off a run. Direct hit, and he's gone, I believe. Finally, we get something going. It doesn't get credited to us as a bowler, but it is credited to the team, and it is the batsman who was... Um, you know, the batsman, the, the set batsman, we shall say. 53 off 72 to Michael Clark. And that wicket does have big, big implications on the game. And as I said, that's why I don't mind if the players are going and taking those risky runs. Because sooner or later, one of the inner fielders is going to hit the stumps. And that does mean that we do break the partnership, which is exactly what was needed. And just like that, we finish it off. So two wickets in the over. We get the court and bold as well. So we've got two brand new batsmen at the crease. Two batsmen who haven't faced a ball yet. And you'd have to say that New Zealand are in the driver's seat to go and pick up this victory here. Pick up the clean sweep as well. But we will just have to wait and see till we can confirm that. But uh, two for 42. Can't really complain about that. A pretty good game all around. And as we can see, New Zealand win the game. They win the series 3-0. And Brendan McCullum getting the man of the match award. 98 not out off 84. Couldn't quite get to that three figure mark, but still a very, very good effort. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you guys are having an awesome week so far and have a good weekend. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. I've got Cricket Coach 2014 coming your guys' way. Make sure you do not miss that.